Hello, sixth graders, fifth graders. Teacher Rosa is going to be reviewing tenses, important tenses. We're going to review simple past, how we speak in simple past. The issue is that you guys forget the verbs in the past. So I'm trying for you to remember verbs because if we know the verbs in the past and the participle, we speak the language. That's it, okay? So I am going to review simple past. So remember that the verb in past only goes in affirmative. So look at this. He ate an orange this morning. This verb is in the past. <clears throat> That's irregular because the regular ones we add ed like worked, like liked. So ed, but irregulars is that the base verb will change, okay? Regulars, the base verb doesn't change and we add ed, walked, studied, danced, okay? So we have he ate an orange this morning. This is the simple past in, in with an irregular verb. Affirmative, the verb in the past. But then we say negative. How do we change this to negative? He didn't eat. We never say he didn't eat. Our two past like crash together. So we have didn't. This is the auxiliary that indicates we're speaking in the past. So we don't need that verb in the past. So we say, he didn't eat an orange this morning. That's negative. Didn't with everybody. Didn't eat, didn't cook, didn't dance. A singe, okay? Then we have yes, no question. What is yes, no question? Remember that is when you answer yes or no, but we have to form, first of all, the question yes, no question. So we put did in the beginning to indicate that we're speaking in the past. So we say, did he eat an orange this morning? Did he eat an orange this morning? So we put did, indicating we're speaking in the past, and we put eat in the present. In question, we do not use the verb in the past because did indicates the tense in the past. What is the answer? Short answer. No, that's yes, no question. This is yes, no question. Because we have to answer yes or no. That's why it's yes, no question. We say, yes, he did. Did he eat an orange this morning? Yes, he did. Or, no, he didn't. Then we ask an information question. So we like put this one down. We take it down and put it here. And we add what? In the beginning, see how we see? So we say, what did he eat this morning? That's information question. What is an information? Because you say where, when, you have to give some information. Whereas this one, you just say yes or no, the yes, no question. Then we have information question words. Where, when, why, how, what, how much, how many, what time. Okay? So we're going to review some of the verbs we're going to learn. So we're going to learn irregular verbs, present, and the past. So we have the first one that is to be, the verb to be. What is the verb to be in present? Is, are, and, okay? It's in the present. He is, she is, it is. They are, we are, and I am, okay? What is the past of the verb to be? Was or were. Was is for one, were are for many. So we say, did he, she, it, and I, I was, he was, she was, we say was. They, with they, we, and you. We were, you were, they were, okay? Become. What is the past of become? Became. So I'm going to say a sentence. My mother became an excellent cook. My father became an excellent uh, driver, okay? Or I became the best student in the class. Then we have break. What is the past of break? Broke. I broke a glass yesterday and my mother 
lot angry, upset, okay? Bring brought, bring brought. My teacher brought me a cake for my birthday, okay? So my teacher brought me a cake for my birthday. Build, built. My father built our house many years ago. It's in the past, he constructed, he built the house. Buy, bought. I bought a new car last year. The teacher Rosie bought a new car last year. Then we have catch. The passive catch is caught, caught. The baseball player caught the ball. So there was no home run, it was an out, okay? Choose, chose. I, you say, we chose the best school. St. Angel is the best school for us. So we chose the best school. Come came. My mother came to my house late and I was waiting for her to eat lunch with me. My mother came to my house late. We have cost, cost. You say, eh, it cost much money. The camera cost much money. Cut, cut is the same in the past and in, in the present. Present cut, past cut. Do and does is the present. What is the past? Did with everybody. We use all of these with everybody. I did my homework last night. I did my homework last night. And if you would say negative, I didn't do my homework last night. I didn't do because it's an auxiliary and it's a verb as well. Drink, drank. My mother drank wine before going to bed. My, I drank milk before going to bed. My sister drank water before going to bed. Okay? Drive, drove. My mother drove perfectly. She's a perfect driver, so she drove perfectly. Eat, ate. We ate a delicious breakfast yesterday. We ate a delicious breakfast yesterday. It was rice and eggs and sausage. Eat, ate. We ate an apple in the morning. We ate an apple in the morning. Feed, fed. My mother fed the dog. Feel, felt. I felt happy yesterday because I was with all my family. I felt happy. Find, found. I found money in the street two years ago. It's true. Okay, I found money in the street two years ago. I hope you guys see this video and pronounce the words after me. And remember, the verb goes in the past only in affirmative. Never in negative, never in question. Because the auxiliary tells you the tense. Bye, love you guys. Bye.